The process of aging is a natural occurrence. Human beings rarely get to live beyond 100 years of age, no matter what kind of lifestyle they lead. If you take our cells and grow them outside of the body, they also age. They eventually reach an age limit called the Hay-Flick limit. The process works like this. Our cells will divide approximately 50 times and then reach the Hay-Flick limit where they won't divide any further. In the state called senescence, they'll live for about a year longer and then die. So our cells are programmed to age. The theory of aging I put forth posits that our bodies evolved to age, that early cells lived in a resource limited environment. This caused previous generations and next generations to compete for resources. The evolutionary race between the reproductive system and the older generation caused the cells that died off to provide the resources for the cells that reproduced. This created an advantage to having aging as part of the system. If we take this evolved theory of aging, we can then posit another theory that there is an aging compound or an aging chemical pathway that causes aging to happen. Once we take this theory, we can then start looking through the organelles and try and find such compounds. If we can then isolate the organelle and figure out what the compound is, we could create a blocking compound that may actually block aging completely. One study I came across detailed cloning mice using nucleus transfer from aged mice and senescent cells. After the cloning, the mice led a normal length of life. This suggests that the organelle responsible for aging is probably not the nucleus. The experiment that I suggest that might lead to cure for aging is the use of micro syringes. With these, you can transfer organelles between old cells and young cells. From this, we might be able to find out if these organelles cause the Hayflick limit to happen earlier. Then when we find out which organelles are responsible, we might be able to find a chemical that can be blocked. Hopefully with this information, someone will be able to invent a cure for aging.